guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. On today's video, I want to share with you my favourite video um, that I like to actually record. And that is my colouring plans or my colouring options for the new season. So in this case, the spring season from March to May, March, April, May. And the reason this is my favourite videos is because I get to sit down surrounded by all my colouring books, look through my colouring books and choose a whole new selection of pages that I would like to colour. I don't do it every month. It takes a long, long time for me to actually pick out pages. And if I did it every month, it would take me way too long and it would really waste my time. I like to do it three monthly. I think I've done that uh, pretty much since I started the channel. Um, because yeah, it just helps me. And I know for the next three months, I have some, I've shortlisted my pages for the next three months. And yes, if I want to go into my bookshelf and just pick something else out, that's absolutely fine. But this sort of helps me channel my coloring. Um, and just, uh, yeah, just get on with it. Basically, I tend to pick a lot more options, um, of pages I would like to color then I can actually get around to um, I probably average on good months seven pages a month and then obviously if I don't get that much coloring time it reduces but I don't I don't tend to go over more than seven pages a month so yeah the selection of pages I have here today to show you will be a lot more than seven pages a month for the next three months so what 21 pages it's definitely more than 21 books here but um, yeah, I like to have options and I color according to my mood. And so it's nice to have some books picked out and then depending on my mood, I can color it. And also, as you guys know, I love it when you guys choose which pages you would like to see as a color along on the channel. So I love showing you all these selections because then it, I know what you you guys have in your coloring um, book collection, what you guys would like to see a color along on, maybe follow a color along on. So yeah, make sure in the description box below you uh, sort of vote for the pages you'd like to see as color alongs on the channel and I'll try my best depending on my mood depending on my time I will try my best to make sure that those pages which are the most popular will come as color alongs and then the other pages I'll do in my free time all right so let's get started that was a very long introduction and of course the first book I'm going to show you is um Rita Berman's spring book all right and I don't tend to color her seasonal books. I only have actually her spring and summer book. So I don't tend to color them at any other time other than the seasons. I have done quite a few in this book, but I do want to get at least one or two pages done in this particular book. So I've picked out a few pages. Um, I'll just, I'll try not to be too long, but um, yeah. I'll pick out a few pages and show them to you guys. I really like the seam pages a lot. So hopefully I can get around to doing that. I always eye up this page. This is a very early color coloring page, 2021. But I always eye up this page. I really like it. I know it'll look beautiful done, but the repetitive aspect of it is what puts me off. Um, because once I've seen a few flowers done, then my motivation for a for the page will probably reduce um so to do the whole page of the same flowers is what puts me off but i know it would look beautiful completed but hopefully i can inspire myself to do that one i find these kind of pages quite difficult the one with the doodles definitely those ones are not very much my style i'm so glad her newer books has sort of gone away from some of these wallpapery kind of pages because i don't know what to do with them I like this one. This doesn't have to be done in springtime, but it's an option. I do like this one. I don't know what I would do with the background. As you guys know, I always say a lot of back, empty background space does um, intimidate me a little bit, but it is a beautiful page, isn't it? I picked quite a few here because I want to do at least two. Um, and then depending on my mood, I'll pick or depending on what you guys choose, I'll pick. I did this page again in 2021. So long time. I had picked this last year. I didn't get around to it again, probably because of the background. I saw that it's a really simple page. And then I was like, well, what do I do with the background? And so it put me off, but I've, I've tagged it again. 
and this one actually so yeah i think there was another scene page that i used to like but i think because i picked one scene page i've left it at um or is it not in this book it might be in this one. Oh no it is this book that page yeah no i think i prefer the other scene so that's why i didn't pick that one so yeah this one as well so some um slightly simpler pages and then some slightly busier ones like that double page spread um <clears throat> sorry so yeah Rita Berman's spring book had to be an option and I'll have to get a couple of pages done. Then I've gone back a few books from Rita Berman's um, to this book, The uh, Land Under the Microscope book. And I love this book. This was the first Rita Berman book I got along with her summer book. And that was back in 2020. And I've done so many pages in it. I have some really, really early colorings like this one in it and um yeah I, I really wanted to get back into this book so i've picked out a few pages i love how i did that i don't even know what gave me the inspiration to do that flower but i love it and i think i'd used i want to say castle arts on that one when i had the castle arts i've kept that i i don't enjoy those pencils very much it looks beautiful i think a lot of pencils work so nicely on rita berman's um paper I think I enjoyed it on this paper not so much in other books I've kept it aside for my son one day once he learns how to color properly um but yeah I used castle arts on that one but I really like this one so I thought I would do that I don't know if I want to maybe just bring in the same background keep it quite soft um but then there's an owl there so I don't know if it should be a night scene but I don't really feel like doing a night scene so I think I might keep it quite soft uh, like a light blue again I've marked this one some easter eggs a bit of a simpler one I don't think I would worry about the background much so yeah I, I actually really like this one looking at this one now I don't always go for wreaths but um I had I'll show you one I'd recently at some point in 2023 at the end uh Back end of 2023, I did a wreath of Kanoko Ikusa in uh, Colouring Heaven, and I really, really enjoyed it. So now I seem to be getting attracted to wreaths. I really like this one, actually, today when I'm looking at it. And then another one I've had marked for quite a while is this one here, the bunny page. Not the double page spread. I don't think I, I, I have that much time to do it as a double page spread, but this page here. And I don't know if you can see, I had done a How I Color video very early on in my YouTube journey um, on how to add elements to your page if you're not an artist or if you don't know how to draw um, using a tracing method. And so I'd done this tracing method on this particular page. Um, and I had it marked since then to eventually come in and do this page. I really, really like this page. The thing that's intimidating me to do it um, is a beautiful version, colored version of this page that I've seen by Betty Hung, I think that's her name, um, on Instagram. Uh, her Instagram handle is color by Betty Hung, I think. Um, and her, okay, she's an artist. She's Her coloring is absolutely stunning, very different to my style of coloring, but she's done such a beautiful version of this page where she's made a scene here where the bunny is looking over the scene, like some hills or something like that. And obviously once I saw that, I was like, hmm, I can't get that out of my mind. I can't reproduce that. I can't get inspiration from that because I don't have the skill set for that. And so I've been a bit stuck on this page, but maybe I'll try and forget that. Just get my coloring style in here and eventually do this page. So yeah, three pages in this book. There are some beautiful pages I'd like to do. Um, I've done so many in this book. I love it. But um, they were too busy, I think. Seeing how my coloring is going recently, I thought I won't get around to it. Oh, where is it? It's it's really stunning pages. Sorry. Just just in case it's something you guys would want to color. So I'm just showing it to you guys. I won't be doing this this season. Um, but these two pages are probably my favorite in this book. But they're so detailed and I can just imagine how beautiful they'll look done. But I need the time to do it. Um, so eventually I'll do these pages. But yeah, these two are my favorite pages in this book. But yeah. Hopefully one of those three pages. Actually, I quite like this one. 
the Easter eggs. So that's Rita Berman's uh, Land Under the Microscope book. And then I have one more of Rita Berman's, but I always have Rita Berman's books in, uh, you know, at the back of my mind, even if I don't show it on this particular video, there are certain pages I remember in like the Europa book, like in the London section, um, even the Asia book, but I just colored in the Asia book. So um, I said, okay, maybe I'll try one of her other books, but I always have her pages in the back of my mind. So if I feel like something else, I'll go and get it. This is Rita Berman's Africa book. Um, I love this book, very intimidated to color in it. I've done one page in it and then I got, yeah, I got scared. <laughs> to tackle any other pages. I love how it turned out though, so I don't know why I'm not getting around to colouring this. This was sent so kindly by Rita Berman to me. Um, it's definitely a book I'm going to treasure, but I have picked out a few pages and I hope I can get past that little intimidation and, you know, seeing so many other pages being coloured all pretty much at the same time. I need to just not look at any other pages and just start getting colored on in this book so i picked this page i really like this page with the with the airplane and the sand dunes the desert so that's egypt with the camel love it i picked this page where, where i can go a little bit more bright and so this will be quite a limited color palette i think <laughs> knowing me i'll probably end up making it colorful but um quite limited palette with the sand dunes because a lot of it is sand dunes um so not not that much going into that but then when I look at this page I see bold bright vibrant colors turquoises and greens and pinks and orangey yellows would look nice so yeah very um bright page I have I've picked a few here so that when I come to consider coloring in this book hopefully I do get around to it I can pick from one of these and one of them will just break the ice for me again to get back in this book. But I have a hippo. Um, my son always says that his favorite animals are a hippo and a rhino. I'm not sure why, but he's stuck on hippos and rhinos at the moment. Um, and I really like this. Um, it's so adorable. I don't know what I would do with the background, though, um, which is what puts me off. But this little bit here is it doesn't look too taxing, does it? It looks quite a simple um page to tackle if i can figure out what to do with the background so yeah really like that page cute little hippo there uh this page is one of my favorite in the book and i have tagged it this is a page from the kenya section this is a maasai warrior i've, I've done a flip through on this book and i've gone into detail about all of this so basically this is very nostalgic for me from back in, back in Kenya, from my life in Kenya. And um, I would really love to do this, but I don't know if I'm ready to tackle it yet. I have tagged it. You never know what I feel like when I jump to this page <laughs> in the next couple of months. I might be ready to go for it. So this page here. Again, quite limited pa limited color palette here. And then my Maasai Warrior will likely be quite vibrant and bold. My dad's already colored this page, guys, and this page, I think. Has he colored this page? Yes, I think he's colored these two pages already. Um, so yeah, and then this one I've picked out as well. Again, um, this one, I can see myself going bright with the, with the camels and their drapings and things like that. So I like this page as well. So yeah, a good few pages to pick from. Now, obviously I'm not gonna color all of them, it's to give you guys an idea. Maybe one of you will, you know, some of you might be keen to see them as a color along. And also for me, when I'm flipping, I can just sort of flip through these pages and one of them will hopefully be like, okay, this is the one. So Rita Berman's Africa book. All right. Then again, a book I really, really like actually, and I really enjoyed coloring in it, but I've only done one page in it. I only have one of Crystal Vogel's books so far because I've only done one page in it but beautiful paper beautiful illustrations very adorable very innocent and happy and um yeah so I thought I want to come back here and color it some of the pages in my my book did, did print out fainter so for example this one that I've typed is a bit fainter than like that page if you can see but anyways it's not a big problem 
Um, so I picked out this one. It looks like happy, you know, coming into springtime. Um, a lot of these pages I feel are more autumnal with all the mushrooms and stuff like that. But with the colours, you can make it whatever you want, can't you? Um, so I really like that one. Oh, yes, I, I liked this one and I had uh, mermaid in mind. So maybe a nice simple mermaid page for mermaid. And I have this one. That's interesting. Don't remember picking this one up. I think I'm more inclined to the first two, but um, yeah, this one's cute too. <laughs> but I really think I like, uh, yeah, I like the mermaid page for sure. And right now I'm more inclined to this one where they're dancing around the mushroom toadstool. The music being played up there. So cute page, but yeah, I want to try and get a page done in this book. Um, I didn't even try and read that out to you guys. Have I translated it? I'm going to have to translate all my books that are not in English now because I don't remember them anymore. But uh, Crystal Vogels, and that's the name of the book. Something about maybe the forest world or something. I don't know, actually. I shouldn't even guess. Yeah. Um, so that's Crystal Vogels' book. And then you'll be surprised to see Year of Witches again. I actually have enjoyed the two pages I've coloured in this book. Um, my colour schemes are so different to what I usually use in other books. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've been using alcohol markers in this book. Um, but this is, uh, I got this, this is available on Amazon. And I got it from Amazon Japan to try out the paper. And I think it is like, working a lot better so this particular page I used alcohol markers and Pablo pencils very different color scheme for me because I was using pencils I don't normally use and I love how it turned out this one I used alcohol markers yeah and my Albert Dura pencil so bold and vibrant more like my usual style uh, but I really liked it and I did activate with water as well and it hasn't wrinkled the paper it's still thin paper it's Amazon Japan quality Amazon paper um, but it hasn't wrinkled even though I used water there's no warping like I get in my Amazon UK books um, so I did enjoy coloring in this book um, so many details so I picked out one page which keeps jumping out at me since I got the book and it's this page here uh, what is it called it's called at the bus stop with the rain spring i think this is in the spring section that's why i picked it out but i love it with the rain and the umbrellas and yeah i quite like this one so um i might want to try and color another page in this book i actually i'm really enjoying this art style um this is the other page i was thinking about but guess why i shied away from it the open <laughs> empty background um i don't know Maybe soft pastels would work for me. I, I don't mind using soft pastels, so maybe soft pastels. But yeah, I, I chose this one. I preferred this page, like since the first time I saw uh, flip through this book. Um, so yeah, uh, Year of Witches by Usiku. Hope you guys are keeping a note of the books and make sure you let me know in the description, in, in the comment section. I think in the beginning of the video, I said description. In the comment section below, make sure you make your votes on what pages you'd like to see me color on the channel. Yeah, any of these books will make me happy. That's why they're in this video. All right. I did a haul recently and I showed you guys that I got my first Lulu Mayo coloring book, A Million Baby Animals. I've never got her books because I don't know how to tackle her art style, even though her art is beautiful, adorable, innocent. Um, but I saw this book in a bookstore. I was able to flip through it myself and I actually really like how detailed her book has become. Um, I think they've maybe gradually got... De um, more detail but I can't remember her the books as much because I don't usually always look through flip throughs but this book I really like um how detailed some of the pages are and the the theme of the book the baby animals um so yeah I picked out a few pages I want to try out now it is going to be a challenge for me because I've never colored her art style um and I've always shied away from it because of a lot of empty space I think I noticed in her earlier books but this book, I really want to try and jump into. So I have cute, this cute little page here. 
Um, I don't mind this page because yes, there is background, empty background space, but I feel like I don't need to color that. I just need to color that, that central part of the, the page. So I really like that. I actually really like a lot of the pages in this book. I've picked out this little baby pigs page, which is again, so adorable, isn't it? Um, and one more page, what did I pick out? Okay, so I didn't go for a very detailed pages. I've picked out this one, but I do quite like this one as well with the bunnies. So I might have to tag this one later. I'll probably remember when I turn to this page. I do quite like this one. A lot more detailed, but um, yeah, this one's adorable with the baby bunnies as well. And there's a little pig there. That's a pig. The rest are bunnies, aren't they? <laughs> That's so cute. All right. Um, so yeah, those three pages I've picked out to just get me started. So I think that's why I didn't go for the detailed pages because there's so many beautiful detailed pages that I would probably more, be more likely to colour. But because I haven't coloured his style, just to get myself going in this book, I've picked slightly um, simpler pages to first tackle. So A Million Baby Animals by Lulu Mayo. And I've got quite a few, I think, new, or not new, uncolored books that I want to try and get to. So I was um, trying to pick up as many of my uncolored books in my collection to see if I could get um, at least one page done in them. So we have Ma Maggie and Terrio's Flowerscape in Paradise. I don't have her first book yet. Um, eventually I'd get it, but I need to get started in this book first. So again, I've never colored her artwork beautiful beautiful artwork i love her florals her botanics she's her her style is stunning um but i've never colored it so again just to me just to get me started off and to try out her art style i have chosen a slightly simpler page um i do quite like this don't know what i would do with the frame i think this would be like stonework for me um but yeah beautiful um, simpler illustration and then yeah I went for a slightly busier one more me but um, I think I'm more inclined to the simpler one to get started with we'll see but yeah so I've, I want to try and get started in a book otherwise it'll take me forever to get going in this book um, so yeah Maggie and Terrio's Flowerscape in Paradise and it's an, on beautiful paper it's the I think the only other book that I've colored with this publisher, I think it's Page Street, yeah, is, um, uh, oh dear, what is it called? Spooky, yeah, by Sarah Shevchik, the witch cat book. I've done one page in that and the paper was beautiful, same publishers, and um, yeah, so I would really like to try and get into that book because I know I enjoyed my coloring session on, in, on that paper. All right, then, Yes, good. Um, this is the other book. I got this quite recently. Um, it's a Korean illustrated book. Um, and I got it from a Korean website called Aladdin. I have videos on how to order from there if you're interested. And I did a Korean book, coloring book haul recently. This book is Flower and Girl Coloring Book, the second one, uh, by Yon Yon, I think. That's what Google Translate told me. Um, so hopefully that's right. I have three of her books now. I think it's a her. Three of the books. Um, I got the first one from Book Depository before it shut down because, um, yeah, I just decided, oh, let me quickly buy it um, before Book Depository shut down. So I just got the first one. I don't think the second and third were there. And obviously I haven't colored in that one yet, but I was flipping through the three books that I have, the three, the three of this series, flower, flowers and flower and girl coloring book series. I think they're three books and I really liked some of the illustrations in this book. So I thought just to get me started on this artist's, again, coloring style, um, I'll go for the pages that obviously um, inspire me the most. And I found some really beautiful ones in here. I think I'm very inclined to um, try and replicate the original colored version that we have available in the book, um, but I'll try and put my own little touches as well. We'll see. But I really like this one, uh, the color schemes. I don't do yellow and orange flowers that much. So I, will, I, I, I really want to make a conscious effort of trying to do more of them, trying to figure them out a bit more. This one is beautiful. Look at all that hair. 
So I really like that one. I haven't translated these, so I don't know what they say. Yeah, I thought this one was quite adorable with the bunnies. And again, yellow flowers. So I've, I've been quite conscious of, um, obviously, this, we had the coloured version, but for other pages as well, which I'm going to make up my own colours. I'm going to try and see if I can stop doing pink flowers. I do that a lot, pink flowers. So let's see. But I really liked this one. I liked this one. Very dreamy. <laughs> Very relaxed. And then oh, this one, yeah. So yeah, pink flowers here, but beautiful, the clothing. Beautiful. So, oh, I have one more. Oh dear, I, I didn't realise I picked so many. Oh, this was beautiful as well. So soft, so innocent. I really like it. So I like any of these. Um, I'll see which one will get me started in the book or colouring her art style. I don't tend to gravitate towards portraits that much, as you guys know. Um, so, but when I do colour them, I really enjoy it. So I, yeah, I really want to do at least one page in this, in, in Yon Yon's book. And this one is the Flower and Girl Coloring Book, the second one. Beautiful portraits in there. All right, then the next book I have, this was sent to me by a Korean publisher, uh, Moon. I hope it's there in English. Is it there in English? Yeah, here, Korean publisher, Moon Che. I shouldn't even try, but that's the publisher of this book and another book as well. Uh, so this one is the Spring Sunshine Coloring Book um, by Jeon Jin. And the other Korean book that this artist had has done, which the publisher sent to me, was Cat Autumn Picnic, which I have done a page in. And they've come out with a new book recently, just a couple of months ago, maybe, um, which is a more of a winter book. So, yeah, I, don't, I haven't got that yet. I think I'll have to wait until I have a few Korean illustrated books that I want to get to make an order again from um, the Korean website but um, yeah this one I thought was obviously spring sunshine so it's a spring book so um, uncolored I thought I'd, I'd, I'd try and get started on it I think some colors I will try and replicate so even in the page I colored in the cat's autumn picnic book I did use inspiration for certain things but then I ended up doing like my own sky background and things like that. So I think some ideas I'll get and then the rest I'll do my own style. Because I don't think this is very much my colour schemes or style of colouring. So it will look very different when I do it, I think. But I really like this one with the daffodils. I really liked this one. This looks, the colour scheme looks more autumnal, but um, yeah, I like it. I really like that. It's so adorable. And the the point of view, like the... Bird's, bird's eye view um, is really nice. It's it's very different, isn't it? Um, and I have this one. So the ducks, chicks, little picnic here. Yeah, I like this one too. Um, but I feel like I'm more inclined to this one or this one. I don't know. We'll see when I'm in the mood. But that's cats. Uh, no, that's not cats. That's Spring Sunshine Coloring Book by Jion Jin, a Korean book. Then I have, <laughs> I did a haul recently, and this is one of the new books that I, I got in January um, from Amazon Japan. And this book is called um, A Journey Through Fairy Tales with Little Forest Friends, and it's by Sayuri Kobayashi. And it's not a very new book now. I think you must have seen it on a lot of channels, but it's an adorable book. I love colouring on this paper. This is the same publisher as Wild Mouse Yururi book. And I know I enjoy colouring in that book. So I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this book. So I've picked out a few pages. More scene pages rather than the pages where we have like the little elements. Um, so yeah, I have this page here. And then... So that I think is Snow White with the seven dwarves, which are the birds. And then... Is this a double? No, it's a single. I was going to say, I'm like, there's no way I can do a double page spread, especially when it's the first page I'm colouring in a book. But anyways, uh, this page looks really nice. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Love it. Um, or this one. I don't know. Would this be... Maybe Romeo and Juliet? I don't know. I would have to check. I think, do we have 
we have a key at the back, don't we? Yes, we do. Sort of like an index, so I can translate it to figure it out. But this is really cute. I love the stonework. I love the, again, the point of view. I love that they're in a window looking out at us, um, like as if it's real, but you know what I mean. And then all the leaves around it. Yeah, I really like this one as well. I think it would look beautiful once done. It'll take forever to do the stonework and knowing me that's the repetitive aspect of a page that would sometimes put me off but yeah really like it so those three pages hopefully i can get started in this book um i haven't had it in my collection too long so i don't feel too bad that it's uncolored but that's sayuri kobayashi's a journey through fairy tales with little forest friends from amazon japan 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 japanese illustrator all right <clears throat> then i have makiko inotomi's a uh, newest book, Seasonal Wreaths of Plants and Friends. So it's a wreath book. Like I just mentioned, I am quite attracted to wreaths at the moment. So I'm quite excited about this book. Hopefully I can get started. I don't know if I've seen any coloured versions yet. And I'm going to try and avoid it so that I don't get intimidated. But um, I've picked out a few from the spring se section. So like we said, it's seasonal wreaths. So it goes through the seasons. So I've picked out this one. There are quite a few in the spring se section, actually. I feel like there are quite a few. I liked this one. I really like this one. And I like this side of the page, too. If I was able to do both, I would. Or maybe I can just do one or this one. I don't know. Help me. <laughs> I like this one. But I don't know if I feel like roses. So now when I'm looking at it this time around, I'm really being attracted to that one more and that one's okay too but i think this is my favorite of the three i've tagged so yeah makiko inotome's newest book seasonal reads of plants and friends again same publisher as wild mouse yuri's book beautiful paper all right guys now one thing i had mentioned quite recently was that i'm finding i'm not coloring in hannah carlson's older books as much or in Hannah Carlson as much and I felt quite disappointed in myself so I looked through her books and obviously every time I look through her books I absolutely I love her art style and so I do feel like tackling this is the first ever Hannah Carlson book I got I've done so many pages in this book I've got some really early colorings um when I say so many I'm saying so many for me compared to my other books where I've probably done one or two pages. So um, probably not compared to other people, but um, quite a few pages done in this book. Um, so I picked up this page here. I did this one last year in spring. A right mess, I think, but I was playing around with watercolor paints. Um, but this one here, this double page spread. This is one of my favorite pages. This one and the other double page spread this one I absolutely love this spread and since I first got the book I really love this one since I first got the book but I've been I've never just I've just haven't been able to tackle them um but I really like this one so I've only picked out two in this book and hopefully I'll pick out I'll, I'll get around to doing at least one of them I really like this one but yeah so Hannah Carlson's seasons I want to do at least one in here and then um, there's so many books now that it's so hard to pick out pages. I, I I would love to pick out more Hannah Carlson pages, but this is the only other book I've picked out for now. And this is Hannah Carlson Spirit Animals. I tend to do the pages in this book as double spread, so I've like done that one. Um, even though it'll take me a while, so even if I don't do it as one whole one sitting, and it takes me a few months, it's absolutely fine um there's not that many repetitive ele elements on this double page spread it's quite different so i may be okay with doing one and then coming back and doing another but i really quite like this one which is why i've chosen it there was another one but then i got um this one quite like this one but i didn't know what to do with the background and i in this page i don't feel like i need to combine the background as a double page spread i can have something for here and here um, whereas in this one, I feel like the background will have to like spread over the two pages, which is why I avoided that page. I did this one, which took me ages, but last year, love it. 
So basically I didn't want to do this where I had to do the background for both the pages as a double page spread. So I think that's why I got attracted to this book. But I think this will be really beautiful. I haven't got an idea yet. I do know I want to make the dragonfly quite colourful. Maybe blues, greens, turquoises, that sort of colour scheme. I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, I really like this. So hopefully I can get around to it and inspire myself or motivate myself to colour that spread. It'll, I'll feel really good if I get, manage to get that done. So Hannah Carl's on Spirit Animals. All right. Then I have a Clara Markova. I've only picked out one because it takes me a while to colour her pages. And I've only got... I, I look through the books and I love all of Clara Markova's books, but I try to look through books where I only have one coloured page in them and I settled on fairy miracles um, and I chose this page here I like that just don't know what I do with the massive bird there yet but that's pretty oh yeah and the hydrangea page I actually quite like this one more inclined towards this one <laughs> less of a challenge than that big bird so yeah, I quite like this. I love the flowers. And because I'm trying to go away from, I'm trying to avoid pink flowers as much as possible. So I, I can see that I wouldn't go for pink on this hydrangeas. So um, yeah, let's see. I quite like this one. Um, so at least I'll be able to get a second page done in this book, hopefully. Fairy Miracles by Clara Markova. As you guys can see, so many books picked out, but it just helps me shortlist, basically. And then when I come to choose a book, I literally look at these books first before I go through my entire, you know, collection. Uh, Mar Maria Trolles, again, I've not been colouring her books that much. I look through all of her books. I love her art style. I don't know why I don't pick them out as much. They don't take so long for me to colour. Well, compared to some other, some other books. But um, yeah, so I picked out Luna. And I've got a few pages in here. I've got this one, which is quite similar to a page I did. Is it in this book? I feel like it might be in this book, actually. Is it in this book? It might be in this book. That's fu Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that one there. So it reminds me of that one now. So I don't know. But the colour scheme can be very different. But yeah, so that one with the bunnies. Um, I have this one with the daffodils. Don't know what I'd do with the background, as usual. I've got a double page spread, but the reason this doesn't feel very intimidating is because it's a black background. I don't need to worry about the background. So I really don't mind this page, actually. Yeah, I really quite like that one. And I've picked out this very simple page as well. Again, because it's framed, it uh, takes away the factor of the background for me. Um, which usually is what I spend a lot of time thinking about when I come to do a page. I always tackle the backgrounds first, most of the time. So that's what usually stops me from even getting started on a page if I have no idea. So I think that is quite nice. But I, th I think I quite like this one, actually. That would look really nice on a black background once all the colours are put in. So, yeah, uh, Luna by Maria Trolle. Then I have Moon Valley. And I think I've only done one page in this book, so that's why I picked it out. And I've picked out, I don't know why, but I've picked out this page. They're meant to be white flowers, aren't they? So again, I think I was trying to push myself away from pink. I don't know what the name of those flowers are. If you guys know, let me know in the description box below so I can go and look it up. Oh, actually, it's here in the back, isn't it? so silly I forgot see it's been so long since I've colored a Maria trolley but we have the names of the flowers um in the back of the book so yeah I can look it up myself don't worry <laughs> um I quite like this one but I have done like a waterfall in one of her other books flora maybe quite quite recently meaning last year um so yeah I picked up this page because of the bunny but when I'm looking at it right now Mm, it's not really inspiring me. That page is inspiring me more. But yeah, it's tagged. Let's see. That one there. Again, I like that it's framed. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the page that I'm most... Yeah, this is the one I can remember. I really like this page. Really, really like this page. It's more like her older style with the bigger flowers and the bigger leaves. 
um, which I always say, like her flowers and leaves have become so small for me. Um, but this is remi uh, reminding me more of her earlier books. Um, I really like this page. So more inclined towards this page. But those are the options from Maria Trolle's Moon Valley. I like to tag a few pages when I can. Now in this book, I think, yeah, I've only got a couple of pages. So this is uh, the day, have I? Oh, I don't think I've actually translated. Oh, yes, I did. The day you come. Is that right? Because I feel like I remember it. a lot of people saying the day we finally meet or met. But when I tried to use Google Translate, it came up as the day you come. And it's by Kim Yu Jin. Okay, a Korean illustrator, Korean illustrated book, uh, beautiful paper. I haven't got started, very intimidating book, but some of the pages uh, that I can see myself doing for like spring and summer are really inspiring me. So for example, this page here, I absolutely love uh, with the flowers and all. And again, not too much background to worry about. And I love doing leaves and things. So maybe that one will get me started in this book. Again, sorry, this is an uncolored book. And I've gone for this one. Why did I go for this one? Because it looks so detailed, but it's so adorable. Um, I think I was thinking that I might use like soft pastels to just cover up all these leaves. So green, soft pastel, and then just use an eraser to, to erase out all the flowers. So that will already get so much of the area covered up. And then I can do detailing with my pencils. So I think that's what made me feel like I might be able to tackle the, this page. However, it's very smooth paper, so I don't know if the soft pastels will catch properly. So something to think about. I'll have to wait and see. Maybe I can try it on this page here with the soft pastels first. Um, but yeah, picked out two pages that hopefully can get me started in this book. Or I always had this page in mind with the dandelions, actually, just to start off with a small bit to get me going. So I, I do have this at the back of my mind as well. If um, I feel like I can't tackle those two pages and I want something smaller just to get me started in this beautiful book. Um, so the day I think if Google Translate has told me the truth, The Day You Come by Kim Yoo Jin. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> I have Nell Koneko's Story of Precious Cats. I've done so many pages in this book, but now that I have so many cute, adorable books in my collection, especially from, you know, the, um, the Japan books, um, I'm not getting around to this book as much. I always pick out pages and I don't get around to them, but I've picked out a simpler page. Hopefully it'll make me color it because there's not that much to it. Um, I don't, I'm not, I don't very often do pages like this where there are small elements, but I did one recently in, Wild Mouse Yuri's Journey Sketch by Makiko Inotomi, and I really enjoyed it. So maybe I'll be able to tackle this page now. So I've only picked one page in this book just to get a page done again in this book. And I have my characters um, planned out with my colors all written out. So he is Heek, I think. So this cat here. And so it should be easy to tackle. So fur is my most challenging part of this uh, page and the background a little bit just to figure out. But I think I would do it very subtle, maybe just make like little uh, shading for like um, a base for the cat to stand on and for this wheelbarrow to be on, things like that, um, rather than worry about a very um, intense background. So keep it very soft and simple. Um, so I really want to do that. So I've only picked out one page. So hopefully that will make me do it. Now connect the story of precious cats. All right. Then I have Iwi's Romantic Country, the first book. Um, I think I recently colored, is it in the third book? I did a color along for winter. I colored in the second book, maybe twice last year. So I decided, okay, I'm going to try and tackle a page in this book. And I really like some of the pages in this book. So I have this page here picked out. For some reason, I feel like ages ago, Chris Cheng has done maybe this page and I might be inclined. I've not followed a color along for such a long time, but if I'm in the mood to, I'm, I, I'm inclined to maybe check it out. I don't know. I'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I will, but it will be nice maybe to follow a color along by her. I know she uses Prisma colors. I'll use my own colors, but um We'll see. I feel like I remember her colouring this page beautifully, of course. 
And then I had this page picked out, something a bit different for me um, with the fishing and stuff. But I have this one and this one as well, I wouldn't mind, but it's a lot of trees. So I don't know if I feel like that one. I have a simpler page here. Guess what makes puts me off the simpler pages? The background. So silly because you would think that the simpler pages are easier to, you know, color in and just get going with. But I have got this one picked out. There's no flowers or anything. So I would need to try and figure out if I want to add flowers, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Some not not draw them in, but maybe with like paint pens or something just to give a bit of color to it because to me these are just leaves there's no there's no color there's wood there's grass so to make it more spring like maybe add colors so we'll see oh yeah i have this one picked out again very lovely page isn't it and then this one a more detailed page picked out tea room old rose very british isn't it like that as well so romantic Eries, romantic country the first book only picked out one of her romantic countries but then i picked out one of her other books ewe uh, world legend a trip to magical land to a magical land with fairies now i had three of this series so the world this is world legend we have world literature which is the newest one and there's world fairy tales right i haven't colored in any of the three but there were certain pages in this book and I know it's not the newest book. I just got it though in January. So it's new for me, but I really felt because I'm thinking about springtime, I really liked this page with the flowers and the fountain. I really, really, she's so elegant. The dress, the off shoulder dress. I really like that. So um, I did quite like that one. And I also picked this one out again with the flowers and stuff made me feel a bit springy. Um, but I think I'm more inclined to this one, but it's one of my favorite pages in this book, I think if I remember correctly. So I don't know if I want to tackle it as my first page. But um, yeah, it's, it's really pretty, isn't it? So maybe that one. Eerie's World Legend, A Trip to Magical Land with Fairies. All right, then there's so few to go, guys. These videos of mine are always quite long, but I, I, I love looking through my books. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. Again, make sure you're making a note and letting me know in the comments below which books you want to see me color, okay, on, on the channel. Um, the most popular ones, hopefully, I'll try my best to keep it for color alongs if I'm in the mood, if I have the time. Obviously, it depends on everything um, else that happens outside our coloring world. All right, I'm going into mythographics. Now, I struggled, guys, with my mythographics because I love these books. I love coloring in them. I love the art style. I love the quality. And I just enjoy the process of coloring in these books. And so to limit the number I was picking was quite hard. I think I have limited it to four. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I had to be so strict with myself and say, look, th there's no way I'm going to be able to color more. But um, we have Joseph Kattenbang's Labyrinth, so his newest book that I just got in December. And it's uncolored because of that. And so I said, OK, at least I should get one page done in this book. So hopefully this book might take priority over the other ones I've picked of his. However, I love his other books, so it's going to be really hard. But I've got this page picked out. I think we can go a bit colorful on this page can't we i have got this picked out i don't have any ideas for it though so not sure yet i've got quite a few picked out here because i think some of them are a little bit challenging so i wasn't sure about them yet this one is cute with the bunnies bunnies because of uh, easter but it can be spring as well so that's adorable We have this one. Oh, no, we don't. I was going to say, why did I pick that one? But no, we don't have that one. I really like that page, though, but I want to wait it out. I, I'm going to wait for that one. This one, yeah. That one's quite nice. I'm just I'm just looking. I'm, I'm silent because I'm just looking at the pages and trying to see if there's anything jumping to my mind, especially to do with like the ones which have the little maze sort of things. I don't know. 
the actual puzzle parts i don't know how to tackle them like on this page i was just trying to look at it and say i could probably figure out the colors for everything else if i sat down and thought about it but what do i do with that bit so i'm just a bit quiet because i'm trying to take in the illustration and figure it out this one this is one of my favorite ones in this book i just really like the idea of the jigsaw puzzle um making sort of like a space sky and then we have it broken up and we're looking at water and we have a fish there. I really like this page. Again, is it a page I want to tackle as my first one in a non-colored book? If I love it so much, I don't know. But it is really nice. So I've got a few pages there. Obviously, there is a chance I might flip through the book and then be inspired to do something else. But um, yeah, I think those are good um, options for me. So... Joseph Kattenbank's Labyrinth. I can't wait for his newest Wild Summer book. I think it'll be ages before it comes out here in the UK, though. Um, they always tend to be delayed on Amazon UK for some reason. I think they were saying May, and now when I looked at it, it says uh, publishing date June, so I don't know when it's going to come out on Amazon UK. All right. Then we have Joseph Kattenbank's Magical Earth. Beautiful book. I think this is the one where I've done that giraffe page in. I think I've only got one page in. No, I've... I've uh, yeah, I think I've only done one page in this book. I really like this page. It's a bit simpler. Um, so hopefully it wouldn't take too long. But I like that one. It looks so peaceful and zen, sort of, with, with the girl just sitting there with her eyes closed. And it just, yeah, I don't know why I feel that. This one here with the little waterfall coming off, sort of an umbrella, but it's like a landscape on the umbrella. I don't know. Is it a tree? So it's a bit difficult to figure out how I would colour it, but this page here. Oh yeah, I really like this one. I don't know if this is more summery, but that doesn't matter. Um, I really like this page. Again, one of my very favourites in this book, I think. I have a bunny page again as an option if, I, if I'm in the mood. But not much colour on this page, so I don't know yet. You guys know me in colour. I, I, I like to go bright and bold and vibrant. I like this one with the sleeping dragon. It's the year of the dragon, so you never know. I haven't done crystals for so long properly. Um, so maybe. And I like that we are above the ground there, below the ground there. It's quite interesting. And then this one. But I, I feel like I'm... Even though these are flower girls. <laughs> looks like flower girls. I'm not being drawn to it as much even though I should be thinking flowers at the moment because of spring but um probably the least drawn to this page for some reason but I really like yeah some of the others I've chosen I just love this book guys this is just a stunning book that's a page I did my heart and soul in that page I left them there um but all of the pages are beautiful in this book all right, Magical Earth by Joseph Catanine, a mythographic book. And I think the only other one I picked out of his, I really controlled myself and just forced myself not to pick any more of his books. But Joseph Catanine's Mythographic Voyage, one of my favourite books again of his. And I've picked out a few. We have The Lion, Dandelion, Lion. <laughs> I It will be a challenging one because of The Lion to try and make it look realistic. This one, I really like this one. Again, I've gone for the dragonflies, like in Hannah Carlson's um, book. But I do quite like it with the hands. I just don't know how I would do the hands. Probably like stones. Yeah, maybe grey or something to make it look like stonework. Because it is, uh, the pattern is like stone. So stonework with the, the water, sort of like the river the waterfalls. It's quite nice, this one. I really like that one, actually. Oh, and I really like this one, yes. I forgot about this page. Is that hydrangea again? I really like this page. Um, a page I've been drawn to quite a lot and I've just been putting it off. Um, I've done two pages in this book. But um, yeah, really like this page actually. So I think this page and so far and the dragonfly one are good contenders. I really like this one as well. I think because of the busyness of it, we have flowers, we have clouds, we have this shoe. It could be quite interesting. So yeah, 
not that many picked out in this book but I really like the ones I've picked out so it's going to be really difficult again this book is just amazing guys his artwork is just just blows my mind but yeah so uh voyage by joseph Kattenbaum. and then i have one book picked out by fabiana atanasio because i've sort of started another book in by in one of her another page in one of her books uh which is cosmic spirit um so i chose okay i'll just and I, i'm not going to get it done uh, for February definitely so I decided I'll just pick one other one of hers so menagerie mythographic menagerie I feel like I've chosen a dream garden page but it's not here so maybe I decided I was going through them and said okay I really need to cut down on my mythographics and I probably took it out but um, I've got this page here now I absolutely love this page now <laughs> the problem the problem is that Betty Hung on Instagram I think if I'm not mistaken had colored this page when the book came out and of course her version of it is stunning I can't remember it now actually to be honest so that's good so I can probably tackle this page without uh, going and having a look again I can tackle this page and not be intimidated in a way I just remember being like wow that that page was amazing so yeah check out her Instagram um color by Betty Hung but I don't remember what she did on this page. I can't even remember the colour scheme, to be honest. But I just remember being blown away by her colouring um, of this page. And then I have this page as well. I picked it out for last spring. I didn't get around to it. I really like it. I don't know what to do with the teapots, but I think it's adorable. So I think I might be more inclined to this page. But it's so hard. Such a hard choice. Again, beautiful book. Fabiana Atanasio's Mythographic Menagerie. That's it with the mythographics, guys. All right, then I know we have um, a couple of other books by Malpomeni, Chatsi Panagitu, but Circle of Life is definitely my favorite of her books. And I was just flipping through it because it's been a while since I've colored in it. I had picked out a page that I might want to do in winter, didn't get around to it. I uh, can't remember which one, one of the compass pages, but I was flipping through it again with spring in mind and I had a few pages I really liked. So I really, really liked this one and it just made me feel like it just, I don't know, got a little, uh, I just, yeah, I look at it and I'm just like, wow, I really want to do this. So real motivation to get into this book um, when I looked at some of these pages this time around. So hopefully I do colour something. I really like this one. I really like this one. Don't know how I would tackle it yet, but I really do like it. I have a sim. I'm saying it's simpler, but that's because there's not that many elements to colour. I have this page here and it's a scene, so it's a bit simpler for me to tackle. But I think one of the other two would look more beautiful once coloured. And I have this one, probably my least favorite of the ones I've just shown you. Do you guys remember this double spread? <laughs> Can't remember. That's probably when I had more time on my hand, but there we go. So I have those few pages that were just like lighting something in me when I was looking through them and I was like, I really need to get back to this book. Um, so yeah, hopefully one of these pages. All right. Melpomeni, Chatsi Panagitu's Circle of Life. I say that so confidently, I don't even know if that's actually the correct pronunciation. So I do apologise if I've said it um, incorrectly. All right, then we have Paula Bruins, Animaux de Bois. Now I'm waiting for her newest book to be released. I think it was supposed to be in March. I don't know. I don't really see a cover or anything on, on Amazon UK yet. Um, but I picked out this book. I just called it in, Amaz in Amazon. Amazon, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I decided to go for this one this time. And there's some really pretty pages that I can probably do for spring. So I really like this one. Or this one. It's very hard for me to just choose one page in a book because my mood changes. Um, so at the moment, these were the ones that were I was most inclined to when I was going through all my books. Um, this one here. But there's a chance that when I come to it in March or April, I might look at it and be like, okay, I'll probably be more inclined to one than the other. But yeah, 
really like this one. I think I like the seam ones a bit more again because the last the, the the page I did in this book was this page, so it wasn't a seam. So I think I do feel like either this page or this page more than the other bunny page. So Animal de Bois by Paula Brune, beautiful books, beautiful artwork for me. I like it. Pages, the quality of the books are amazing. All right, then it wouldn't be a Teresa Goodrich. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be uh, right not to have a Teresa Goodrich book because, um, yeah, I really enjoy colouring her books. Um, so I've got Home Sweet Home. I don't have that many of her books. I have the autumn one, which I'm not going to colour now. I have the a winter one, Christmas, no, Christmas one, which I'm not going to colour now. Uh, Gnome Sweet Gnome, I have a whip in it. So once I get that one done, I like to try and tap into all my pages uh, in all my books. If you've noticed, I pick so many books because I'm like, I want to do one page a book if possible uh, within the three months so that's why I don't get so many pages done in one book to be honest because I like to try and give love to all my books so the fact that I've done Gnome Sweet Gnome means that I'm less inclined to colour in that book than the other Teresa Goodridge's books because I haven't visited them for a while. Um, one of her books I don't have because I gave it to my dad was Country Charm um, so I, I need to get that back into my collection because I have listed it as a book in my collection. I didn't take it off my list. Um, and I'm sure there must be some beautiful pages in that one for spring and summertime. So I might have to get that book again into my collection. But we have Teresa Goodrich's Home Sweet Home. I haven't picked any pages here, actually, probably because it'll depend on my mood. So I love like this sort of a page. Um, probably not the interiors this time. I like this one. I like that one. So basically all the outdoorsy ones is what I am currently feeling. I'm not very good with interiors, I've noticed. I really like this one. I think I'm, I had tagged this one for last year and I didn't get around to it. So I think I'm going to tag this one. Sorry, guys, just so I don't forget and then get carried away. If I tag it, I'll know that I really, really liked this one. So maybe... I think I like this one. Yeah. That one is more summery, but beautiful. Yeah. So I think this might be the page. At least I've tagged one now. So Home Sweet Home by Teresa Goodridge. All right. Then I have, I'm running out of time. It's almost time to pick up my son. I didn't realize it would take me this long to record. But Teresa Goodridge's Village Charm. Again, I've not tagged anything. Now, there is one page I remember thinking about ages ago and sort of had an idea in mind of what I wanted it to look like. And it's this page here. It might be a bit more summary, but if I feel like it, I might tackle it. Otherwise, there's so many other pages that I could do. And again, that's the reason I didn't tag anything. I don't mind doing that one. I, I steer away from the horses ones because I'm, I don't know if I'll be very good at doing the horses, but there's so many beautiful pages. This one's quite nice. The flower shop might be a bit different. Flower gallery. That's the only one I've done in this book and I absolutely love it. And I feel like I can't live up to that page. I did that back in 2022. That's how long it's been since I've colored this book. So I really need to get into this book. Um, but I put quite a lot of effort in it because I added all my leaves and a bit of... Uh, the effect of flowers in the background to fill up the tree over there. I did all these dots to give the effects of, um, you know, sort of the idea that there are flowers around. So I did put a lot of effort into this page and I feel like um, now I might not be able to live up to it. <laughs> but any other page I do in this book, that's nice for, for spring, isn't it? Daffodils and is it tulips? So yeah, I'll have to look through this book and depending on which one I'm in the mood of, I will colour something, definitely colour something in this book. Village Charm by Teresa Goodridge. She's coming out with Garden Gnomes as well, I think. Um, I can't remember when it is. Is it March, April? Um, so I don't know. I haven't bought a book since January, so we'll see if I can keep to that and just colour in the books I have for now. All right. Um, Christine Karen's fairy and fantasy. I've had my eye on this page for a very long time. It's not in her new book, Wildflower Fork. And so I'm quite attracted to it. And I thought, um, 
yeah i keep I, even though this is amazon book i know it's premium quality i still keep coming i did this one in december so i still keep coming to to these books of hers um so yeah i'm quite inclined to this page i always get drawn to this page i love it it's so innocent so pretty um so i might want to try and make sure this time around i do that page um so i have only picked out one to try and make sure that yeah i do that particular page but christine karen's fairy and fantasy love her portraits again i don't do portraits that much um but when i do i really do enjoy them um i, I don't have that many different skin color combinations yet i tend to go for the same one pretty much but that's okay at least it makes me color some portraits and then eventually i'll try and learn more of skin tones but i have evelyn van coatsom's rose and her friends too i've done two pages in this book and i really enjoyed them and i had one marked for winter didn't get time um so now i have chosen some that i could do for spring maybe this is a bit more summery but i like this one not too much of skin to do which is why i like it and i love doing clothing and oh yeah this one that's pretty with the flowers so that would be nice too so um i don't have an idea for this one yet actually i'm not sure but they're beautiful pages um beautiful style that that is the one i had picked out for winter didn't get around to it but uh, Rose and her friends too, Evelyn Van Coates, and hopefully I can get a page done in that. Well, hopefully I could get a page done in every book I've shown you guys, which is going to be, which is not going to happen. But there we go. Stratton Peterson's Nature's Magic. I was really, really, really feeling like colouring in this book for some reason, and I just didn't get the time to do it um in the winter season they had there was a page that i came across and i said okay i want to do it and it wasn't a page i think i picked out for my options but i just got drawn to the bookshelf to go and pick this book out because i remember the page i had colored in it i really enjoyed so this page here i just really enjoyed it so i do keep thinking about this book and i haven't got around to doing another page in it and there is a new book coming out by stratton peterson called luna in march I think, or April, or May, <laughs> soon. But I haven't seen any any sneak peeks or anything. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't have the animal one yet. Uh, can't remember what that one's called either now. Um, sorry, but um, I haven't got that one yet because I haven't coloured that much in this book. But I have picked out the cover uh, illustration. I quite liked that one. And my tombos and all would be really nice. Um, I've picked out this one because of lots of flowers. I really want to get at least one done. Well, I don't think I'll get two done. I want to get one done. And this one. I think that would be nice too. So I really want to colour one page in this book. I, I just keep feeling like I'm drawn to this book for some reason. And I'm just not getting around to it. So Stratton Peters says, Sun's Nature's Magic. I'm almost done now, guys. Then I have some R.J. Hampson books. I've got A Frog's Tale. I know he's coming out with his new book in March. I don't know if I'll get it straight away. But I had a request, I think, recently for a colour along in A Frog's Tale. So hopefully I can get around to this book. But let me know, of course. Vote in the comment section below if it would be something you guys are interested in a color along in this book um i'm sure you guys will probably get the new one and move on to the new one um but i might not get that one straight away even though i'm sure i'll love it because i this is the first book of rj hampson i got because i liked the theme so much um and then i got a couple of his others but um i'm going to try and resist um so for those of you who do want to see a page in his older books um I have picked out this one. I don't have an idea yet, but I liked the big flowers. Um, so yeah, I did pick out just one page here. But let me know. I think you guys might move on to his new one. What is it called? Around the World? I think it's a brilliant theme. And so I'm actually quite excited to see what's in that book. Um, if I can resist, I'll try and resist, but you never know what will happen. But um, yeah, I've got a page picked out in this one, A Frog's Tale. All right. Then an uncolored one of R.J. Hampson is Serendipity. I got this um, in my Amazon Japan haul and I wanted to try out the paper, basically. 
um it's not as white by the way but it feel it's still thin but it feels different um so i wanted to test it out and this book is beautiful actually i'm quite um excited to color the illustrations in this book um so i have an alice in wonderland themed one i'm not like a, a crazy fan of alice in wonderland or anything but i really like this illustration the way it's done i've only got two picked out and this one here beautiful love thy neighbor and what was that one just in time for tea yeah so very beautiful um yeah so hopefully i can get something done rj hampson serendipity also i'd be quite interested to know if you guys do like color alongs with alcohol markers because i think in some of these um amazon quality books i would use them um I did use it in a recent colour along in a mythographic book and I really enjoyed it um, and I shared that colour along uh, with you guys on the channel so yeah let me know what you guys think about using alcohol markers I'm late to the game with alcohol markers in my mind I feel like a lot of people already have them so you guys might be okay with it I'm not sure um, but yeah RJ Hansen's Moonlight Mischief. I really like this book. It's a hard, the hardback version now. So I've got three different versions of R. I only have three books of RJ Hansen and they're all different versions of it. Um, slightly better, very slightly better paper than the Amazon quality book. But this was sent as Happy Mail, very kindly. Um, and I really want to get started on it. I really like this page. I thought it would be quite a simple page to just sort of tackle and get started in. I don't know why it's always quite hard to tackle um, a page, the, your first page in an uncolored book. Um, I have this one, more summery, tropical, but it's quite nice. And I have this one, not so sure why I chose this one, but I do like it with the cello. And um, I used to play the violin, so a bit cl close enough, isn't it? Um, but I really like that one as well. So yeah, some some ideas there. Um, but I really like this one, so we'll see. But that's R.J. Hampson's Moonlight Mischief. Okay, then I have a couple of Colouring Heavens. Um, Enchanted Animal Special. We're almost done now, guys. Uh, this one is by Kanoko Egusa. I've done one page in this book and I absolutely adored it. And so I felt like coming back into this book. Um, yeah, the paper is not my favourite, but I enjoyed the page I coloured. And so I do feel like colouring more. Obviously, it's more than likely because it's Kanoko Egusa's art. But this one is beautiful, definitely, for spring with the bunnies, with the... Uh, what flowers are those? Snowdrops, is it? Um, but yeah, beautiful page. And I like that it's framed in. Don't have to worry about a background. I chose this one. Slightly less inclined to this one. But it's there. I've typed it in case when I flip through it again, I feel like it. And this one, this one's quite funny, quite fun, might be quite vibrant, quite bold for me, colourful. Bunnies again. And then this one is again quite eastery, isn't it? I don't actually know. Are those uh, poppies? Is it poppies? But I don't know if that's a spring flower or not. Does it matter? No, I, if, if you feel like colouring a page, you can, whatever season you're in. Um, but this one's quite cute as well, but quite... It feels more daunting because it's a whole A4 size, whereas this one <laughs> feels a bit more possible. So, I, but I think I like the illustration here a lot more. So I might be most inclined to tackle that page. Enchanted Animal Special, Colouring Heaven Magazine by Kanoko Egusa. And then I have Fledgling Fairy Special. This is a Christine Karen one. And I got it because it said exclusive at that time. I did not know that exclusive just means for a certain period of time or at that point in time. Um, but I've seen some of the illustrations that were meant to be exclusive in her, uh, in some of her newest books, I think. I've, I've not got the books, but the first 10 illustrations were exclusive at the time of publishing this magazine. And I ended up getting it. I don't usually like getting double books. Like, for example, quite a few of these illustrations are in her other books. I don't have all her books so they're not repeat as such for me but yeah they are repeat um but anyways i picked out this page here i don't think this page is in her wildflower folk book and i don't have and, and it's not in the fairy and fantasy book that i own i only have one of them so um i quite like this one so i thought maybe this page 
here. So I've only typed one. That's Fledgling Fairies, Christine Perrin's art, artwork and Colouring Heaven magazine. And then, I don't think I've picked many mermaids. I just realised I've only picked out one mermaid um, in Crystal Vogel's book. I, I'm trying to think whether I have any other mermaids that I thought about that I have probably taken off the list because I had too many books. But um, I have Anastasia Ellie Calder Rivas, Mermaid Special. And I've only done one page in this book. So I picked out a couple of others. I have this one here, which didn't seem too daunting. It's quite small though, details, but maybe with my, maybe I can try alcohol markers. I haven't tried them in Colouring Heaven or I can just use my Tombows, which I always do and find they, them quite nice to use. Um, and I have this one, which is a little bit more detailed. Um, but that's nice too, actually. Obviously, um, the skin will be challenging for me for this one with more skin showing, but that's okay. I have to try and learn um, some new things. Um, yeah, so I've picked out uh, this book for hopefully doing a mermaid page. I think last year I did it in a Clara Markova book. All right, two last books and then I'm done. <laughs> so we have Lady Spring. I got this a few months ago and I haven't coloured in it yet. And so I picked out a few pages that I was um, interested in trying. Now, I've not tried, other than Karolina Kubikowska, I've only colored, ever coloured one illustration of hers very recently. I haven't coloured any of these other artists' um, artwork. Um, so it will be nice to try them out. So I've got this one here with the daffodils. I'm not sure what flowers those are, but it looks quite fun and so adorable, the fairy. Um, I love ladybugs. Uh, my son loves ladybugs. I love colouring ladybugs. <laughs> um, we have this one here. Sorry, so that artist, I won't be able to pronounce their names, guys, but this is Isabella. And then this artist is Anna Mizurchinska. That's the quite popular book, I think quite recently or for, I've seen this book quite a quite a bit that I picked out this page not sure how I'll tackle any of these yet I've just typed them I have to color one page in this book hopefully um it just depends on which one I go for that one's quite cute doesn't look like as challenging I think this one will be more of a challenge for me to tackle this one this style because I don't do portraits that much so the simpler simply drawn maybe it's the line art or something maybe it's the grayscale I'm not sure but it makes it look a bit simpler for me to tackle Christian Nowak so that's hers quite like this one and the first one I showed you and I've got Grazia Salvos yeah I don't have any of her books I really do like her portraits but the reason I don't have her books um amazon or any other pdf or anything because um yeah i don't gravitate to portraits that much and her pages are mainly just the portraits rather than a lot else going on like in christine karen's pages she does have quite a bit of other elements to color which i really enjoy but yeah i have picked this one out. it's so adorable so cute so so soft um i like the short hair i don't see that much short hair i think um Again, I don't colour portraits that much, but I really got drawn to the short hair for this page. So yeah, beautiful book. I want to get one page done. Lady Spring, and these are lots of artists in it. Yeah, Carolina Kubikowska, Isabella, can't pronounce that, Anna, Christina Nowak, Grazia Salvo, and Barbara something. I didn't pick out one from that page, from that uh, section, because they're quite a lot different. It's not, I, I do like them. But I think I felt like trying a portrait. I quite like this one. It's a bit strange concept, but I like that. I would, I, in my mind, that's not human. She's maybe a flower, um, portraying a flower or something, maybe. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. I do. I don't mind the art style actually. I quite like that. It's quite busy. I I, I was toying with the idea of this one, but then I thought I was being drawn to the portraits for some reason this season. So. I thought I'd go for a portrait because I don't do them that often. Lady Spring, last book, guys. 
And the reason I didn't pick a Carolina Kubikowska page in Lady Spring is because I picked out, oh, sorry, do I keep shaking the camera? Um, Rising. This is not her newest book anymore now. Um, she's come out with Circle of Nature, I think. I don't have that one. Um, but I haven't coloured in this one. So I decided that for her artwork, I'll pick out a page from here rather than in Lady Spring. So I have this one, which I quite like. That is pretty. Or, yeah, this one. That one's pretty too. So yeah, one of these two pages I want to try and tackle. Maybe with Derwent Ink Tints. And I'll see if I want to go over with pencils if I need to. But yeah, one of these two. Okay, guys, I'm done. I'm sorry. That's taken a long time. But like I said, this is my favorite video to um, record for you guys because I absolutely love... Uh, looking through my books and um, just just looking at all the beautiful artwork and it does take me a while to look through all the books and so I like the fact that I only do it once in three months. Um, I do tend to look through my books at other times too but not with the idea of oh what should I colour next. Um, this I do it once for the next three months but then whenever I do look through my books it's just a matter of um, yeah, just looking through them for pleasure, really, looking at the artwork. But um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, doing this video. I know it's long. I know some people don't like my chat and I really apologize for that. But I really enjoyed this video, um, recording it for you guys, talking you through my thoughts and why I want to color certain pages. And um, the best thing out of it is that I can find out uh, what pages you guys like to see on the channel because it helps me decide what pages I can colour in my own free time and what pages I can try and keep aside um, to do on the channel. So it does help me with that as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back with you guys again soon. I'm going to go and put all these books away now. That's going to be a mission. Actually, no, I'm going to go pick up my son and then put all these books away, um, which will be a mission. And then once I know what all the votes are, I'll pull out the books and get them ready for the spring season. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you guys to it. I hope you guys have some great ideas for your colouring for the spring season. Uh, I think I am pretty much done with winter colouring. Um, I have got some whips on the go, which I do want to try and finish, even if it means going into March and finishing them in March. It's absolutely fine. I just haven't had as much time to colour. Um, and then there is obviously certain colour alongs that were requested that I want to finish, even if it says winter pages. Um, so yeah, I might still be colouring a bit of winter, but I am pretty much done with winter colouring. And I'm so excited to get into spring colouring with all the floral pages that I've picked out. So yeah, um, I will be back with you guys again soon. So until then, take care. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.